Hi, I'm Si Hao. Glad to present our work, ZipSAM, Efficient Training of Language Models for Large-Scale Fraud Detection on Blockchain. Fraud detection on blockchain can be achieved by projecting user accounts into a latent space with representation learning techniques and use a classifier to identify those fraud accounts. Pre-trained language model can serve as an encoder to extract user account representations and they retrieve state-of-art performance because they can not only capture topology relationship, but also sequential information among transactions. For example, for a user account, we sort all of its transactions according to time step to form a sequence. And for each transaction, there are several features and we use embedding technique to project those features into embedding vectors, including address uh, features. Then we use multi-layer transformer for self attention computation. We can observe that the number of parameters increases linearly with the number of addresses. And when the address number approaches tens of million level, the total number of parameters can reach billion. At the same time, if we sort all the addresses descendingly according to their occurrence times, that is frequency in total transactions, we can observe that the majority of addresses only occurs few times which can cause their corresponding embedding vectors not sufficiently trained. This can be reflected by their L1 norm after pre-training. This observation suggests that the majority of addresses do not need a large embedding dimension to represent their knowledge. To compress the language model, what we do is we first sort the addresses descendingly according to their frequency and divide the address space into several partitions. For each partition, we dynamically assign an embedding dimension based on decay function. For different decay function, we can get different compression rates and performance on the downstream fission account detection task. As we can observe, this technique can compress the entire model into 8% with a few performance drop and also speed up the training because of the reduced gradient computation. Another strategy is asymmetric training. That is, we drop the majority of transactions in the sequence during pre-training because we observe there are repetitive transactions in the sequence that share the same address features. Because pre-training tasks mainly focus on capturing relationship between addresses, reduce, reducing repetitive transactions won't bring performance drop, but even increase the performance because it prevents a label leakage problem during pre-training. And during fine-tuning, we recover the sequence into the original length to prevent information loss. By combining these two strategies, we can observe that ZipZap can bring two to three times speed up to the original language model and compress the language model into 8% with performance without performance drop. To summarize, we propose ZipZap, a computational and parameter efficient training framework for language models. And we propose frequency aware compression for parameter efficiency and asymmetric training for computational efficiency. For more details, um, please refer to our paper. Thank you.